Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we'll discuss about market indices for stocks and bonds. So our objectives. First, describe the different markets for stocks and bonds and analyze the different market indices for stocks and bonds. Stock market index, so pag sinabi natin stock market index, is a measure of a portion of a stock market. So, for example, the PSE Composite Index or the PSEI, it is a composed of 30 companies carefully selected to represent the general movement of market prices. The up and down movement in percent chains over time can indicate how index is performing. The other indices are the six sector indices so when you say sector indices that is indices that representing a particular sector so like for example the financial institution industrial corporations holding firms service corporation and the mining oil property so the stock index can be standard by which investor can compare the performance of their stock. So a financial institution may want to compare its performance with those others. This can be done by comparing it with the financial index. The stock market table, so stock indices are reported in the business section or magazines. So Kadalasan, no, pag bumili tayo ng newspaper, so makikita natin to. Or pwede rin through online natin kunin. So makikita natin to. So kapag uh, kinapin nyo to, yung link na to in your browser, so ma, uh, madadirect kayo sa site, sa website ng PSE. And then makikita nyo yung stock market tables na to. At doon makikita nyo yung updated. So ito, uh, as of January 18, 2021 ko to. Uh, kinuha. So, pwede nyo ito i-copy para makita nyo yung updated na stock market tables. So, makikita natin dito yung index, the value, the chains, or the percent chains. Percent of chains or the ratio of change. So, tingnan natin. When you say value, that is it refers to the value of index. Chains so, change of the index value from the previous trading day or that is the difference between the value today and the value yesterday. Okay, yung percent change or the ratio of change to value. So, that is change divided by value. So, pag dinivide natin, this is the answer. So, tingnan natin yung mga ka uh, companies na no, yung mga sinasabi ko kanina yung mga sectors no ito yung mga different sectors na uh, kasama no in our sector indices like the financials industrial holding firm services mining and oil and the property the stock tables so is uh, yung sinasabi naman nating stock tables so this is the various information about stock prices can be reported so the this table no uh, is this information about stocks can be represented so pwede natin to makita sa uh, makikita natin to no kapag uh, so online pwede rin natin to makita so ano ba yung mga isa-isahin natin no yung bawat column so kung ano yung mga nakikita niyo diyan kung ano ito ano yung mga yan so isa-isahin natin so, we'll use the headings in the first row of the table to explain each column and serve as an example. Okay, first is the stock. So, makikita natin dito na yung heading. So, AAA. So, ano ibig sabihin niyan? The heading stock is a three-letter symbol the company using for trading. So, example, AAA. Okay, so ito yung name ng company. So, gumagamit tayo ng three capital letter. Okay, three-letter symbol. And then, this one, okay, nasa itong column na to. So, that is the heading 52-week high. So, it's the highest selling price of the stock in the past 52 weeks. So, ibig sabihin ito ay uh, on the past 52 weeks. 
the highest price. So, for example, itong uh, row na to. So, the highest price, it was AA stock traded during the past 52 weeks was 94 pesos. So, this one, ano ibig sabihin naman nito? This is the uh, lowest selling price of the stock in the past 52 weeks. So, makikita nga natin na ang lowest price at which AAA stock traded during the past 52 weeks was 44 pesos. And this one, so anong pagkaiba nitong high sa kalo dito sa 52 weeks sa ka dito sa dalawang to. So pag high, ibig sabihin niyan the heading high is the high selling price of the stock on the last trading day. So ito ay last uh, on the last trading day. Ito kasing isa, this is the last 52 weeks, no? On the last 52 weeks. So the last uh, trading day, so the selling price of AAA stocks, for example, in the last trading day is was 60 pesos. Tapos ito naman, uh, the heading low is the lowest selling price of the stock on the last trading day. So the selling price of AAA stocks in the last trading day was 35.5 pesos. So makikita natin dito. And then, uh, the heading DIV or that is the dividend per share last year. So, the dividend per share last year of AAA stock was 0 0.70. And then, ito, that is the volume. The heading VOL or that's the number of shares in hundreds traded in the last trading day. In this case, so, ibig sabihin in hundreds yan, Okay. So, in this case, stock AA sold 2,050 shares. So, mag ilan lahat yon In hundreds yan. 2,050 times 100, that is 205,000 shares. Close. So, yung heading na close is the closing price of the last trading days. The closing price of AA stock is the last trading day was 57.29. So, this is the last trade... Uh, this is the closing price in the last trading day, 57 pesos, 0.29. And this one, the, net, uh, the heading, so that is the net change, is the net change between the last two trading days. So in the case, AAA, the net change is 0 0.10. So the closing price the day before the last trading day is 57.29 minus 0 0.10 since the net change it's equal for to 57.19. So, ito yung uh, closing price the day before yung last trading day. Okay? Kasi ito, this will be the difference, okay, of the net change nung last. Okay. Okay. Considering the following listing on stock and answer the questions that follow. So, for example, we have this uh, stock tables. For stock GGG, what was the lowest price of the stock for the last 52 weeks? So, magkano yung lowest price of the stock for the last 52 weeks? Okay, that is 105 pesos. So, lowest price of the stock of 52 weeks. So, ito yun. Okay. Next is, what was the dividend per share last year? So, that is 3.5 pesos. And then, what was the annual percentage yield last year? So that is 2.8%. So ito yun. And what was the closing price in the last trading day? So what was the closing price in the last trading day? So ito. That is 118 pesos, 0. 0.50. What was the closing price the day before the last trading day? Ayan. Uh, what was the closing price the day before the last trading day? So, anong gagawin natin? So, kung ang net change natin is, uh, ne net change natin is negative 0.5. Okay, so negative 0.5. So, since minus yan, di ba? 118.50 minus negative 0 0.50. Ganun ang ginawa natin kanina, di ba? Sinasubtract. Eh, since minus negative, so magiging plus. Kaya naging plus 0.50. Okay? So, 118.50 plus 0 0.50, that is equal to 119 pesos. 
Okay, paano tayo bumibili at nagbebenta ng stocks? So, pwedeng personal kang pumunta sa PSE or pwede rin sa yung mga transaction ngayon, ginagawa na lang by making phone calls to a registered broker or by logging on to reputable online trading platform. So, pwede nyong gawin yan. So, those with accounts, uh, those with accounts in online trading platforms may open encounter a table such this table, no? the bid and ask offer. So, anong pagkakaiba nito, itong part na to at sa part na to? Okay? Sa isahin natin. So, bid size is the number of individual buy orders and the total number of shares is to buy. So, dito class, itong bid size, so ito yung uh, just willing to buy. No? Ibig sabihin, uh, so bibili sila ng shares. So, bid price, so it is the, itong 122, ibig sabihin, ito yung number ng company or number ng trader na gustong bumili ng 354,100 shares at 21.6 pesos. Yan. Ang bid price naman, the price that buyers are willing to pay for the stock, as price, so anong as price, the price that sellers on the stock are willing to sell the stock. So, dito class, the, ito bibili. So, bibili ng stock, dito naman, yung magbebenta ng stock. Okay? Yung as offer is magbibenta ng stock. And the as size, so ilang individual ang uh, to sell orders have been placed in the online platform and the total number of shares. So ito yon. So ibig sabihin, ito may isang individual na gustong magbenta ng 20,000 shares niya at 21.8 pesos. So again, so tingnan yung table. The first row, ito, under the Bid means that there are 122 traders so is to buy the total of 354,000 shares at 21.6 per share. Dito naman sa kabila, uh, on the other... Okay, so on the other hand, the first row under the as means that just one trader, so one trader willing to sell his or her 20,000 shares at a price of 21.8 per share. So, the band, the band market indices, so, a band market index is a measure of a portion of a band market. So, the main platform nito for bonds or fixed income securities in the Philippines is the Philippine Dealing and Exchange Corporation or the PDEX. So, unlike stock indices, which are associated with virtually every stock market in the world, so, bond market indices are far less common. So, in fact, other than certain regional bond indices which have sub-indices covering the Philippines, our bond market does not typically compute a bond market index. So, hindi kagaya nung sa stocks na through online makikita mo, no? Makikita mo yung galaw. Okay. Pero dito, instead, the market rates produced from a bond market are interest rate which may be used as a benchmark for other financial instrument. So, the bond market and government bonds, so, the government bonds are sold out to banks and other brokers and dealers every Monday by Bureau of Treasury. So, it depends on their terms or tenors. These bonds are also called treasury bills, treasury notes, or treasury bonds. So, on the day right after the auction, the news agency are normally reported the resulting coupon rates at the total amount sold for this bond. So, although the coupon rate for bonds is fixed, uh, bond prices fluctuate because they are traded among investors in what is called the secondary market. So, these prices are determined by supply and demand, the prevailing interest rates as well as other market forces. So, as the price of the bond may increase or decrease, some investor may choose to sell back to banks to banks that the bonds may acquire before their maturity to cash in their gain even before maturity. So, again, for bond market and government bonds, despite the fact that bonds investing is considered safer than stock investing, there's still some risk involved. So, meron pa rin talaga. 
The most extreme scenario in default by the issuer, in this case, the investor can lose not only the coupons, but even the money invested in the bond, and the bond investor should thus be aware of the financial, con financial condition of the issuer of the bond out the prevailing market condition. So, yan yung for the bond market and for the government bonds. So, another example, Rachel owns 2,000 shares of a company A at 980 pesos per share. He also owns 15,000 shares for company B at 250 pesos per share. In which company is the total value of her share greater? Explain how you know which is greater. So, for company A, kapag kukunin natin yung total ay yung price, total price, i-multiply lang natin yung number of shares saka yung amount, no? Kung magkano yung per shares. So, number of shares, tapos yung selling, uh, number of shares times selling price. And that is for company A, 2,000 times 980 pesos, that is equal to 1,960,000 pesos. For company B, meron siyang 15,000 shares, times 250 pesos that is equal to 3 million 750,000. So pag titingnan natin, okay, alin diyan ang mas uh, mataas yung share niya. Okay? So therefore, the greater value of her share is in company B with 15,000 at 250 pesos per share. Its total value is 3 million 3 million 750,000. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.